<laughs> YouTube Team keep it clean What's going on It's Engraven here With another video And we've been having So many conversations About Justin Houston I don't already told you I, I didn't feel like It was gonna happen I didn't think It was gonna happen um, Because I just I thought that Maybe the Ravens Might be interested In, again, in, in him again Because they were A couple years ago but I was like, if it ain't happened by now, not that it couldn't happen, but I just, I didn't think it was going to happen. I didn't think it was going to go down. Um, and it obviously hasn't gone down yet. But now with this, this makes the possi this makes it a possibility. This makes it like something that could be real. Because uh, I told y'all, like, if the Ravens did not, do not get Justin Houston, okay, cool. I feel like they could be fine. But... If they did get Justin Houston, I feel like that could make them even better because that could give you even more options at the pass rush position because I know when, um, whenever we talk about what, what are the Ravens' weakness right now, what, what do they really need right now, um, and a lot of people point at pass rush. They point at edge. Um, but I think, in my opinion, um, when it comes to the pass rush, I can't say we have a bad pass rush. I would say we have an unknown pass rush. Because we don't know what Tyus Bowser looks like as a full-time starter. We don't know what a Dafe away looks like in the NFL. We don't know what Dalen Hayes looks like in the NFL. We don't know. Pernell McPhee with him getting an increased role. We'll see with Jalen Ferguson. We don't know what he'll look like with an increased role. So it's just it, it, there are a lot of unknown. The, the, the surest thing that we know about, I would say, would be Pernell McPhee and Tyus Bowser. But again, their roles are going to be different this year, especially Tyus Bowser. So him in a full-time role, we got to see how it goes down. I think he'll do well, but we still got to see for ourselves. So again, when it comes to the pass rush, I, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a need, but we just it's, it's a need to see more than a need. But if you add Justin Houston to the mix, I wouldn't be mad. Anyway, let's see what the NFL chick had to say. Now, quick uh, background on the NFL chick um, from what I've seen. Legit. Straight up, legit, reputable. Uh, whenever she says something, whenever she drops something, it is legitimate. She is on point. She does not say stuff just to say it. She does not spit out just a bunch of random stuff and hope it, that it sticks. No, she is on point with her stuff. So, yeah, this is real. Anyway, let's see what she had to say. She said, okay, Ravens flock. Streets say that Justin Houston has told folks that his ideal destination... It's Baltimore. So I, I'm, I'm with that all day, man. Justin Houston has told people that he wants to play for the Ravens. That's his ideal situation. And that makes sense because the Ravens, they've had a lot of success over the years. Playoffs, obviously, three straight years. Um, Double-digit wins the past two years. Uh, amidst everything, especially this being such a young team. Uh, it almost seems like sometimes, like in the regular season, sometimes it almost seems like they may even overachieve. Um, which is not a complaint at all. I love it. I'm with it all day. Um, so shout out to that. But he, if if he actually wants to play for for the Ravens, that should make the deal that much sweeter. And that could make it that much easier. Because if Justin Houston, who is up there in age, who um he's he got he got he got some years left now, but he's obviously on the back end of his career. If he feels like hey the Ravens, that's that's where I would want to go. Then he obviously sees something in them and had, has seen something in them to where he said, okay, that's why I want to ride out the end of my career. Yeah, I, I want to do it with them. I want to do it with them because they got something over there. But anyway, um, she said again, okay, Ravens Flock Street say that Justin Houston has told folks that his ideal destination is Baltimore, hence the wait. And that's something else that's been going on recently too. Uh, Justin Houston, he obviously hadn't signed anywhere. And a lot of people have been wondering, like, man, why hasn't he signed? Where is he going to sign? Is he going to sign? Is he still going to play? And then we saw the report that came out yesterday that said he still wants to play, but just he's waiting for the right fit. So if he's waiting for the right fit and he feels like he fits in with the Ravens, ADC, what's up, baby? What's up? What's up? Let me know. I'll come through tomorrow. I can get him on the phone. We can do a three-way call or something. We'll talk. But anyway. She also said, from my understanding, the Ravens are aware. So she's saying that the Ravens know that Justin Houston is interested in them. Um, but that could sort of make the Ravens be like that, 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 that boy who, one of the, one of the girls who is, uh, is single, 
It's a lot of guys that's interested in her, but she's interested in this one guy. She's like, oh man, if we got together, we would be a perfect fit. We'd be a good fit. And the guy is aware of that. So now he holds the cards. He's like, oh, okay. Oh, she interested in me? Okay, yeah, that's cool. So then, anyway, um, from my understanding, the Ravens are aware. It's just a matter of figuring out a fair deal. So keep your fingers crossed. And she said, don't DM me. That's all I got. It's a deal. If it's a deal made, y'all will be the first to know. So shout out to the NFL chick. Because, again, she, again she, she, she just don't say stuff for no reason. Her stuff is certified. Um, anyway, so the Ravens know. And she said, it's just a matter of figuring out a fair deal. So a deal that could make both sides happy. A deal that could accommodate, accommodate both the Ravens uh, and Justin Houston. And that could be a beautiful thing. A beautiful thing. Because you think about it. I know when we had my guy Jermaine on here, he made some really good points. And shout out to my guy Jermaine. He made some really good points about why the Ravens should not sign a Justin Houston. Because he could take away reps from the younger guys. And they would get even less playtime with Justin Houston being there. And that is true. And especially, again, with the young guys that we, we don't know a lot about. But then at the same time, you think, okay, these Ravens, like, in my opinion, EDC always, would t he talked about it. When he first stepped on the scene as GM, he said he wanted to build a bully. If you're building a bully, that means you want to have players at as many positions as you can. You want to have the highest quality depth at as many positions as you possibly can. Adding a Justin Houston would help do just that. Adding a Justin Houston helps keep that rotation even fresher. It helps keep the rotation even fresher. And it allows you to do more things. It allows you to bring in a vet that knows the game, again, has been productive because... We've had, like, again, last year, our thing, QB hits. QB hits, QB hits, QB hits, QB hits. And that's cool. Pressure is cool. That's cool, but, again, I, I know Wink said it, like, last week or the week before last, but I would disagree where he said that he feels like sacks are overrated. I don't think so. I don't think sacks are overrated. And the reason I say that, and I said this before in previous videos, that sacks show that you close the deal. Pressure is nice, and pressure is, a, pressure is a real deal. And again, pressure can bust pipes. But sacks, that finishes the play. Pressure does not. Pressure can lead to an interception. Pressure can lead to a quarterback throwing an incompletion. Pressure can lead to a bad throw. He may throw it out of bounds, whatever. But pressure doesn't necessarily mean that a bad play is going to happen. You could pressure a quarterback And they could still Throw a touchdown They could still throw a completion So pressure is not The end all be all But a sack That's it The quarterback is done It's over Play is finished Finito That's it So Let's just Again Just to do a quick recap Of his production recently Last year he had 8 sacks Production 2019 he had 11 sacks Production 2018 nine sacks 2017 nine and a half 2016 he had four 2015 he had seven and a half 2014 he had 22 2013 he had 11 2012 he had 10 2011 his first year on the job he had five and a half so we see throughout the entirety of his career we see the same thing consistent production consistent production why wouldn't you want to add him? It only makes sense. So hopefully, hopefully the next time we talk about Justin Houston, hopefully. Because the Ravens, they, didn't they already bring him in for a visit like a couple months ago? I believe so. I believe they did. But obviously nothing happened. But if we're talking about consistent production and we're talking about building a bully, we're talking about you like really trying to take this team to another level, we talking about the only, again, can't even call it a hole on the team, can't even call it a weakness on the team, but really the biggest unknown on the team. If we talking about being able to add to that and make the team that much stronger, that much better, then why not?